have your new Views XR and you want to connect it to your mobile phone. Really simple to do. What you're going to do is once you turn the camera on, there is a little button up there that has your Wi-Fi signal. You're going to just push on that and you'll see that it starts to blink. When it starts to blink, go ahead and pick up your mobile phone and I'm going to use an iPhone to explain this. So we're going to go ahead and hit settings. Once I hit settings, I'm going to go into my Wi-Fi settings. And when I'm in my Wi-Fi settings, I'm going to want to look for the camera. And it's called the Views XR followed by the serial number of the camera. Now, if it's the first time you're connecting your camera, you're going to want to go ahead and put in the default password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then hit join. And now what we've done is we've connected the Views XR directly with your mobile phone. However, if the phone tries to use the internet, we don't want it to be confused to think that your Views XR is actually the internet. Uh, it's not, it doesn't have a connection to it. So we have to do one more little thing just to make sure that your mobile phone does not get confused. And the way we're gonna do that is go back to your Wi-Fi settings and you're gonna hit the little I next to the serial number of the camera. And when we do this, we're gonna see something in there that says IPv4 address configure IP automatic. Now, we're going to change that in just a minute, but before we change it, I want you to write down three different numbers. One is the IP address, and in my case, that's 192.168.42.90, all right? The second number I want you to get is the subnet mask, and that subnet mask for me is 255.255.255.255. And then the last number I want you to write down is the router number. In my case, the router number is 192.168.42.1. Now, once you have all of the information written down, now I want you to click on where it says configure IP automatic, and I want you to change that to manual. And you'll see when you go to manual, all of those fields that we just wrote down are now empty. So now I want you to go in and manually put them in. So we're going to put 192.168.42.90. And then the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. And the router information is 192.168.42.1. And then I'm going to hit save. Now, you really only have to set this up once, but once it's set up, it's set up. The camera knows that now the, or the phone knows that the camera is not a Wi-Fi connection, but rather it is just connected there as a device so that you can transfer your videos between the two. So now that I've done that, what I'm going to do now is just go into the Views XR app, make sure I got all my settings correct. Um, if I then push the little gears, um, the little gear button, and that's going to give me um, a set of menu options. And I'm going to go into camera settings just to try this. And I'm going to say check for firmware updates. And now it went to the internet. It looked to see if there is any updates for my uh, camera. My camera is up to date. So it says it's up to date and I can simply push close. Uh, if there was any problem accessing the internet, you'd get an error that says that your phone cannot uh, connect to the internet and then go back and just double check and make sure when you put in your manual settings, you put them in there right. So once I, like I said, once that's set up, it's a one-time uh, thing. And then you're, each time you're, phone connects to your camera, you don't have to go back in and get those settings again. All right. If, uh, if that was helpful, go ahead and put your comments down below. If you have any additional questions, leave those as well. I'll do my best to answer your questions and come up with some new topics in the future. For now, get out there and create some amazing Views XR content. <laughs>